Good afternoon. And, oh, they recorded. Good afternoon and welcome to the June sixteenth meeting, June sixth meeting of the Lunenburg Board of Assessors. The, the meeting, this meeting, in accordance with the requirements of the open law meeting, please be advised that this meeting will be recorded and can be found in the Lunenburg Access YouTube channel. The address, please use the inv invitation provided in the agenda. We finally received the last batch of abatements and will attempt to complete the job as quickly as possible. We have been able to process 20 to 25 applications per hour in the past and have estimated a total of five more three hour meetings. The following remote meetings are tentatively scheduled tomorrow, Wednesday, June 7th at two o'clock, Thursday, June 8th at three o'clock, Tuesday, June 13th, also at three o'clock, and Thursday, June 15th at three o'clock. Our objective is to have all complete in order to have the tax bills in the mail on time. Please be patient and help us achieve this goal. So uh, we will now have um, public comment. Yeah, uh, can you guys hear me? I see some familiar names there. Yeah, Dave McDonald. Yes. Okay. Are you guys still calling people? Uh, no. no, we're not, Dave. The reason I did that is because the thing, the stuff was coming in piecemeal, and we wanted to uh, we wanted to alert those people. We've got the rest of every, we have everything else now, but now we're going to be doing it piecemeal because we can only do so many per day, per meeting. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, if I get out of that, yeah. uh, in the past, uh, and I want to compliment the, the chairman here. He spent six hours making calls to folks and some of them you're able to get through and others you weren't. Uh, it would, because we've got, we're just processing them as fast as we can to make a call and invite another 250 people in when we don't know what the time is gonna be. It's probably not gonna be a really good experience for those sitting out in the audience. Oh, well, it's, it's, yeah, I, I think, I, I think this, unfortunately for, for the, for the the folks who would like to to sit in, this is just simply the only way to go because of the, the time constraints. Yeah, yeah. Well, there was a discrepancy on the existing paperwork. How do we explain that, or do we have to go through the appellate part of it? I, I beg your pardon. If we find there's a discrepancy, I know you guys are doing property, but I, I do have a question about the dwelling. Uh, my dwelling went up eighty six thousand dollars this year, and I, and I don't know why. So, do we say anything, or do we just go through the appellate process? That's a good question. I, I, I would say, you might want to <clears throat> excuse me. Say you you might want to. <laughs> what's the procedure? Some of that the the, the buildings have already been. Uh... Yeah, is there any changes on the building value or through Nate's findings? Um, yeah, you that's... can. You you know you can um, you can negotiate with the town in the ninety day window prior to the appellate tax board hearing um, date. Okay, you so have ninety days to apply to the ATB, and you can negotiate with the town in that time as well. Okay, that goes for land and building. Just the value. Anything. Yeah. anything. Okay. Did Did you hear that? All right. So, for an example, once I get my new tax bill, if I have a question on it, I can I have ninety days to talk to you before going through the appellate. Yes. Okay. Is there any way we can get that information to me, or should I have to write it and send it out to the Lake Action Committee? What's going to now the the letter that goes out? You're going to you're going to be getting a two page letter. No, one page. Oh, it's one page now. They changed it. Okay, and and it's going to have information for the bank. It's going to have information for for what your assessment is, and uh, yeah, but it doesn't have the. It, it it just shows the the original levy, the abatement, and the adjusted levy. Right. Uh, That's the taxes you're paying. Yeah. And so that letter should incorporate those pieces, Dave. And uh, we need to. We're one of the conversations we had. Uh, and we're going to try and get this done over the next few days. Is that make that letter more clear to folks? I think uh, some people have called me and asked why it would happen between the two letters, how come some got two, some one. It's purely a function of how fast can we go? And so they've gone back and rather than going to a separate system to generate this letter, they simply 
went, and she would correct me if I'm wrong, they simply went to the system to get it printed out so you could get the information as fast as you can. Uh, our chairman uh, is doing a really good job. He's given us a target date of the 15th to be done. All that information is available to you. This letter is capable of being taken to a bank and for that matter, asking them to adjust what you're paying in a month to cover the uh, the taxes and such. So, I know, and I appreciate that, Jack. What I'm saying though is, uh, in fact, I had two people contact me this morning. Um, what is their legal rights after they get their notice? So if they okay. get their notice and they're not happy with what it is, do they have a chance to come back to your board and say, hey, I got some questions. Now I've already been telling people to call you guys and ask those questions. But is that a procedure? We have 90 days to talk to you before we file for the appellate in Boston? Yeah, if you think there's an error with the abatement um, itself, then you can come talk to the board. Okay, uh, and that's good. Now, can we get that some sort of writing so we can send that out to everybody? That yeah. you, this is your option? Dave, here we go. Uh, and I don't know if you can see this, but it's essentially, it's the uh, Real Estate Tax Appeals, a helpful guide to taxpayers and, and assessors. And it outlines the points that CJ uh, said that basically, if you get a rejection from us, you have 90 days to come back and, but you wanna go and file with the appellate board because I believe that's what they require. Oh, by the way, you gotta keep paying your taxes. Don't stop paying your taxes. Because if you stop, then you lose all rights. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not arguing that, Jack. What I'm saying is that you guys are doing a good job getting the abatements out. But you're, if you're following Nate's guidelines, Nate guidelines is only for property. Is that correct? Not the dwellings. That's correct. That's correct. Some people, and I'm not saying all of them, but some, and I'm put myself in that list. Some people are questioning the buildings as well. So, what would be my action? Should I just file to Boston, or now you're saying? I have an opportunity to come back and talk to you. Don't you could come to us first within the first 90 days. Okay. Right? Now, see, that's that's what I'm saying. So we can say that to our Lake Action Committee that if you have a question or, or actually all the people who have their abatements, we could advise them that if you do have any questions to contact this board before they spend $100 and go through the appellate part of it. Is that right. correct? Okay. Because again, yeah. you originally set it up that if you had any questions to call you before, so that's been taken away, which I understand is a probably a good thing, but mm -hmm. we still want to know what is the rights. So if somebody can just drop a little memo to me so I can send that out to everybody, that would be great. There's you have a chance for 90 days to come back to you. We didn't know that. Yeah. And I think that 90 days is you have to file with the ATB within yeah, 90 the days 90 as well. Days. Yeah. If they're gonna go, they They've got to file within the 90 days of receiving a note from us. Right, um, but if I, if I have a question where you guys can answer it, why would I want to file the appellate? It might be just a misunderstanding. I mean, you may say this yeah. or that. I just yeah. don't have, I just don't know. So your best bet, Dave, is, is to file, is to contact us as soon as possible and, okay. then, and, and then go from there. Mm -hmm. No, that's, that's good news. That, that is good news. So I just want to know, how do I get that out there so that I, if I tell people that, Am I going to be backed by you guys, or is that something you're just saying today? I guess this, this meeting is being recorded. <laughs> okay, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Why wouldn't we try and help? All right, thank you. So, you're, you're Dave, welcome. tell folks the real estate tax appeals, a helpful guide to tax payers. It's available on the uh, you just write mass uh, real estate tax appeals, and uh, you they can pull it down. There's a lot of good information there. And, uh, you know, you probably want to urge your folks to file for an informal procedure because then you don't really need a lawyer and it, you stay with a hundred bucks if, if they, if they feel they need it, but yeah, come and solve it with us first. Yeah. I, I just think some of it is, uh, I'm hearing good reports from the people, uh, but some people have different circumstances. And I know the chair said that if you have one of those special circumstances that you would talk for two minutes or whatever. So. I agree, doing all the abatements, get them done. But if somebody's sitting home and I'm looking at one right now uh, that I got this morning, they have a question and I advise this family to call you drives direct instead of doing that. So hopefully you can, that's what you just said, Mr. Chair. So that's a good thing. So thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Dave. Are there any other comments? Uh, kind of on the upper 
Oh, Kenneth. Mr. Colstrom? Uh, yes, I'm here. Um, Ken Colstrom, uh, 16 Ruth Street. Um, and I just want to piggyback on what Dave was asking. If I um, submitted uh, possible errors on the property cards with the abatement, is that going to be reviewed as well, or is that something separate? It, yes, it will be. It will be reviewed. Okay. I just want to make sure of that, because I was receiving two tax bills basically for the same property without even knowing it. And uh, I just want to make sure that was going to be looked at. Well, yeah. you're, you're, you're a lucky guy then. Two tax bills. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and one of them wasn't very much, but it was still attached to, to, the, to the property. So uh, that was, I was just questioning that. Okay. So you'll send those in, Ken, so we can take a look at them? Yeah, I sent everything in and then I um, uh, added some reference material um, just uh, yesterday, uh, just for you to look at to save you some time if you had to look up anything. I tried to do some research. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Any others? Well, we do have a little procedure. And that can is put Ken's. Oh, Ken, Ken back again. Oh, Ken, can you put your hand down? Or okay, there he goes. Okay. Um, well, the next thing on the agenda actually is a little bit of reorganization of the board of assessors. Uh, this this afternoon we have, have to elect a new chairman. And and uh, vice chairman and, and clerk, I guess. I don't know what the actual uh, uh, makeup is, but uh, do we have any comments on? Yeah, would you accept the nomination at this point? I would accept the nomination. I would like to nominate our current chairman, Mr. Rich Latard, to continue as chairman. Let's we'll see what Kevin has to say. Second. All in favor? I, I lose. Okay. You do. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> okay. Um, at, at this point, we have a, I need a motion to enter into executive session and not to return into open session after exiting executive session. To, uh, we're in, entering executive session under purpose seven. Uh, wait one sec. I think uh, Dave. Oh, Dave. Yeah, I, I, I was hoping. Uh, you guys would reconsider that last vote. I understand. Um, I, I mean, I think you have to really understand what's going on here. And Mr. Latata, I know you put you a lot of time and dedication into this position, uh, but I was hoping for a new blood. And that's just my opinion right now. Um, this town's gone through a lot of stuff over the last five months. And now it's not only stuff, it's irresponsible stuff. And for you to take the whole Blame Mr. Latat, I would say no. But again, you've already made your vote, but I also want to let you know that I'm very disappointed in that. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the for the for the words of approval. Mr. Chairman, if I could add, I voted for Rich because I'm the new guy and I've had a chance to see him operating. And th this whole thing is, as Dave, as you'll agree, and you've mentioned a few times, this thing, this debacle is four years in the making. And a lot of that information wasn't available. And I've seen Rich work really, really hard to try and rectify as much as he can, as fast as he could. And it, it you know, he's, Rich is very, very open to suggestions. And, uh, and we, we're working as, as a decent team right now. And we're, Rich has years and years and years of good experience and understands it would be crazy for us to even think about changing any of the horses in the middle of this run, especially right now. And I really think that uh, he has my sincere vote of confidence. And you know, I, just, I, just, I appreciate that, Jack, but this is a business as well. And Mr. Latat, no one's blaming Mr. Latat personally. It has nothing to do with him. I like Rich a lot. And I'm not saying for him to resign, but as far as leadership, I think this needs to be a change. That's what I'm saying. And if you look at what's happening, the town of Lunenburg residents went through hell over the last five months. I mean, complete hell. And someone's got to look at that and say, wow, but this didn't happen four years ago. I mean, it may have been working 10 years ago. What happened four years ago? I really want to know that too. And who was involved in that? This cannot ever, ever happen again. And we're the laughing stock of the state. I mean, you guys are talking with the DOR. And like I said, Mr. Latat, 
I'd do anything for you. I mean, it has nothing to do with you personally. But business, guys, this is a major screw. And I hope you guys understand that. And your job is to put it back together. And we have confidence you can do that. So like I said, I'm not asking Mr. Latat to leave the board today, but I am asking him to look at changing for new blood. Thank you. I'm just well, going to say this now. I, I have to say that I register emphatic disagreement with the characterization that Rich Latart in any way screwed this up to begin with. And I support him fully upon the wholeheartedly. So I have no intentions to reconsider my vote with regards to maintaining him as chairman of this board. And I'm not asking you to do that. I, I have a right to voice my opinion, and I have. But again, you got to, and uh, Kevin, you have to look at it as a business too. So again, you're working on fixing the problem. But the leaders pay. I mean, if you're running a business and you screw up, you pay for that. And it just so happens that Mr. Lansada is sitting in that chair today. And like I said, look back, look back at the last five months. Why don't you go look back at the 17th meeting at the town when the town had their town meeting? Look at that. I mean, people, people forget what happened. Well, the voters don't. The voters make changes. And that's what the voters did this year during the election. You have new uh, selectmen on board because you need a change. So, and that's what I'm saying. It has nothing to do with you guys personally. I, I like you all. And, and I wish we could get, get through this, but there's a lot of, a lot of wounds out there that's got to be fixed. So I, I just want to let you know that. So we appreciate your, your opinion, Dave. Uh, I really do. And, um, and I appreciate you. Mr. We're going to do the best we can in the next few months to square this to thing total away. Total away. And I understand that. And the last thing I want to know is I know you guys are giving the abatements back with um, tax, or what do you call that? Not tax. Uh, interest. 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 Yeah. And what is that? I don't know the interest yet, Dave. Uh, I know you'll be receiving a check uh, for those who are receiving the tax abatement so from the tax collector's office. Yeah. A part of our challenge is to get it done on the 15th. And that way you can get your checks sooner. Uh, we're not, as you if you gave me the information, uh, basically they're even gonna try and squeeze some money out out of this year's budget to help start satisfying that, uh, you know, that the monies that we've got to return, the abatement returns. Uh, I don't know anything more than that, do you, Rich? No, it, yeah. it's, it's gone into the accounting, accounting they, department. Yeah, it, it, and it, I, they're waiting for us to get- yeah, They're the waiting document. for us to get the abatements yeah. to them, so. Right. Well, I just want to remind you that we have three families that I know of personally that had to sell their houses because of the taxes. So that's that's a shame. Three people. So and, and Mr. Latat, I know you're rolling your eyes, but that's a fact. And, and and that's one of the reasons why I think we need a change. I mean, someone has to look out for the people. And and there's been a lot of a lot of division. So I'll, I'll leave it at that, Mr. Chair, because I know you don't want to talk about it anymore. Thank you very much. And is there anyone else? Uh, well, we've, we've got a, a, a new chair, and uh, like I say, we're going to move into executive session uh, where I left off to comply with and act under authority of any general or special law or federal grant and aid requirement. The applications for the abatement or exemption under this chapter shall, except in proceedings before the community, county commissioners, the appellate tax board or court of the Commonwealth, be open only to the inspection of the assessors the commissioners, the deputies, clerks, and assistants of either the assessors or the commissioner and such other official or designated private auditors of the Commonwealth. I need a roll call vote to go into executive session. Do I have a motion to go into executive session? I'm so sorry. moved. Kevin. Seconded. All in favor? Uh, hey. Yes, I'm okay. roll call. And now we need a roll call vote. I think yeah. Yeah. Kevin Fish, aye. Don Rabbit, aye. Rich Latard, aye. This meeting is adjourned. And, yeah, and thank you so much, folks. Stay tuned.